Hey there folks, I have a new knife for you. So, I've been checking this out, like I've seen a lot of pictures and videos on this already, uh, and I've kind of been curious about it. And initial impression when I got it, I said, no, this is actually bigger, bigger than I thought. I thought it was actually gonna be like half the size. You know, from the pictures I've seen online, I didn't think it was gonna be this big. So this is the Microtech Exoset. This is the Bounty Hunter. Now they call it the Bounty Hunter because of whatever, uh, they got a cease and desist from like Star Wars. Don't call it Boba Fett, but we all know this is after Boba Fett. But this is the Microtech Bounty Hunter. Uh, so it's a small knife, right? This is California legal. It's an out the front. It's a Tonto. The steel on this is some kind of a carpenter steel. I think CTS 204P. Again, it's a Tonto with a blade window. It's got like this stone wash on it. Which is pretty badass, actually. So, initial impressions, I'm like, you know what? This is a lot cooler than I thought when I saw it in pictures. And I'll, I'll tell you why. So, it's got this apocalyptic finish on this aluminum. This is an aluminum body with kind of like a glass breaker. And then you're asking, why the fish? Because that's what I was asking. Why the fish did they make this pocket clip so big? So, I guess it... Not that I guess it doubles because of the size as like a like kind of like a billfold holder or like a card holder. I'll probably I'll probably edit this. Probably not. All right. So I don't know if anybody still carries cash, but you could put your credit card in there. I'll put let's see. I'll put one in there. Let's take a realistic number. Let's put like <clears throat> three more. So four total. Let's put it all together. You can buy these on Amazon, by the way, with a chip on it, if you wanna do reviews on your wallets and stuff. All right, pop that son of a bitch in there. And then this will sit like in your pocket. It could fit in your watch pocket, it could sit in your front pocket. But actually, it's actually nice, right? Um, you know, cause it looks like, like a, it looks like a EDC style card holder, right? But it's also a weapon. So you bang that out. This is pretty cool. So it's out the front, right? I'm sure it has the same uh, fail safe. Like, in fact, let's test it. You know how the out the fronts work, right? You bang it out like that. It's like, oh no, I broke it. I broke it. I'm gonna send this back to a micro pack now. You just pull it. It should be fine. It should reset nicely. Microtech. One thing about out the fronts, this is fun. I would play with this all day. It's just fun. Uh, let's look at the finish. Okay, so it's, uh, again, the, the Bounty Hunter, and it's all scratched up. They call it the apocalyptic finish. It looks like it's battle-tested, and I'm told I'm told that each one is basically scuffed up, unique, so not one is the same as the other. So you can get this, of course. Got a shout out to my friends at PVK Las Vegas. Hit them up. They got a ton of these. Uh, I'll put the link to their website below where you can get this. But uh, if you're interested, ladies, if you're watching this, to the one or two ladies who are watching this, buy this for your son. Buy this for your man, your boyfriend, you know. Look at the logo. So the logo kind of has like a cool sheen to it. And it's all scratched up, of course. Look at that. That almost looks like the Predator thing. So, yeah. What's that number? He's got a number on it. Pretty cool. Look at the hardware. Of course, got that Microtech hardware. This is a pretty neat looking EDC. Right? This, let's see. Out the front, I don't think are legal in New York. But this is legal in California because of the size of the blade. Um, I mean, I could be wrong. They could have legalized this in New York. I mean, why not? New York's a shit show. But, um, you know, if you needed to carry something to protect yourself, this is kind of gentlemanly. So, uh, PVK, PVK Vegas, Jer, uh, and my boy, Nick Chuprin, also have the uh, Stormtrooper versions, which is black and white, and they have like a Sand Trooper, which is like a sand style color. Very cool, very 
definitely very uh, Star Wars theme. Theme, I'm just going to say, because it's not officially Star Wars, but you know the deal. Look at that. It is slim. It's slim. It's a slim out the front. So that's kind of cool if that's something to worry about. You put this in your pocket, it, feel, it, 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 it doesn't really feel like anything. It feels like you're holding like a wallet, like a minimalist design wallet. Here's the trigger. I like how they scuffed up everything, though. The attention to quality is really good. Or to make it look like it's been beaten up. Yeah, I'm a fan of out the fronts. I have a couple of Microtechs. I forgot. I've done... Are you one of those guys, you've done videos, you know, or you're, you're a knife collector and you don't even remember what you have. It's just in the Pelican case. I got to be honest, folks. I got a ton of knives in Pelican case. I rarely look at them. It's kind of like Raiders of the Lost Ark where uh, I just, uh, I do the vids, I fondle, I flick, I add to front them for a while and then I just get rid of them. Uh, not get rid of them. I just put it away until like the Bandit or any of the Wieners come by or Nick Chuprin. And then, hey, let's look at your Pelican case. And then it's like uh, show and tell. And yeah, this is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So get this. Pick it up if you want. It's pretty neat. It's like the size of a lighter. Get it there. Peace.